Hello everyone, this is Freename on YouTube. This is a quick video on how to factory reset this TalkTalk Talk Sagemcom Wi-Fi hub as shipped to customers in May 2025. In my example here, somebody has changed the password on this and we need to change some settings or uh, we need to get it back to factory default so that we can log in to make further changes. In my example, somebody has set it to the IP address of 10.39.34.1 and it's not on its default IP address of 192.168.1.1. So I'm pinging the wrong IP address that somebody's customized it to here, and I'm pinging the factory default IP address here so we can tell when it's come back. So on the back of the router, on the far right hand side, as you look at the back, above the power button is a tiny little reset hole that you'll need an unbent paper clip or a SIM eject tool or some other thing to uh, put into it to factory reset it. What I will do is I will show you the lights on the front so you can see what happens uh, and when, how long you have to press the button for. So I'm about to press the reset button now. And that was 20 seconds, and you can now take the paper clip out of the back. At the 20 second mark, the solid white light went off, and it is now flashing an orange light. I'll leave that over there, so you can see how long it takes to reboot. If this video has been helpful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers are really helpful. I'll also bring up another window to do with pings to the internet. If I can figure out which window it is, there it is. So we've got the old custom IP address the new factory default IP address that we'd like it to be responding on, and then the internet is over here. So that started flashing slightly quicker and is now flashing white and orange, and has gone solid white, which presumably means this now has internet, but my laptop has not yet picked up an IP address from the router, and now it has. So we are now back on factory settings where this router is responding on 192.168.1.1 rather than the custom IP address over here. What we can do now is log in on 192.168.1.1 using the custom password which is on the back of the router. Every router will have its own custom password, so make sure you look on the back of the router for yours then you can change the settings all you want. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it'd be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications on, but the subscriber numbers are really helpful. So thank you very much. This is also a very quick video on how to factory reset the router. There's also another video um, of me unpacking the router and also of the entire web admin interface of this router as well. So if you want to see what every page looks like where you change all the settings, then have a look at the description of this video for a link to the other videos.